They come in God-given perfect packaging. They're cheap, they're cheerful, they're healthy, and they're enormously versatile. We're talking eggs. I'm at the home of Annalise Sainsbury, rock star caterer, and the woman I'm relying on to teach me the art of a Scotch egg. Oh, the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> These Scotch eggs are amazing to look at. Admittedly, they require a little bit of skill, but practice makes perfect. So, you're going to need eggs, of course, pork sausage, anchovy, capers, and some sliced ham, and some panko crumbs for the crust. Okay, I'm going to start with the um, pork sausages. Um, okay. Always nice to have a good quality, and then we will take them out of their case. I love doing that. It's sort of bizarrely pleasurable. Yeah, I have to there a few times. Yeah, no. Okay, give me a job. Here okay, I am. will you please chef. chop some parsley? Very fine. And middle. How often do you make these? I'm too terrified to make I love eating Scotch eggs, but I'm too terrified to make them. It's kind of an easy one to do at home. We do do them like little ones, um, and we use little quail, quail eggs sometimes, eggs. just because it's easy to pop in the mouth. I think it's a bit with a um, Boss, pop them in. Enough. Thank you. The nice thing about it is you can put anything into this. I'm going to chop this. Yes, Sorry, please. The, the ham. Is that you can you can put anything in there and hide it from the kids. And so I put a bit of anchovies in. I love that Me idea. Me too. <laughs> I like an anchovy at any time. Yes. Okay, how's that, darling? Any That's good? amazing. Perfect. Please Enough. Pop that in here. Right. Definitely. So I love the capers just for a bit of acidity. Yes, and I've also again, had them surrounded with fish, actually, with sort of like a prawn meat, which was really fine. delicious. Yeah. yeah. Now my best spice to mush it all together. You do quite like a little yes. mushing myself. So if you don't make this much in your catering sort of world, what is the kind of most popular thing at the moment, the sort of food du jour? The thing with today's day is everyone wants to go small and elegant and canapage and not... Oh, really? Yes, That's and not too messy and... Um, Do you think that's come from the whole sort of tasting plate thing? I think you know, so, definitely. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, And then our, our normal functions would be a little bit of a, a canapé to start, where there I would probably do the little um, quail, quail egg, one, yeah. where this is an in-between size, which is a little bit too big for a pop in the mouth. Okay, yes. now this is the part I'm the most terrified yes. about. Yes. Just run me through exactly how you cook these eggs. So we normally um, bring the water to the boil. Eggs must be room temperature, very important. Okay. Um, you then take a slot of spoon and you then would um, put it into the water right. gently so that it doesn't hit the bottom and cracks. And then we cook it for five minutes. It's five minutes in already boiling, boiling water. water. This makes me way too neurotic. I'm too much of a control freak to let things sort of like potentially go bad. Yeah. No, 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 but look, 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 it's definitely Yeah, perfect. so that is stunning. And, and, and it's okay. the so I tell you what, you relax coming. because it's all looking mm, just fine. <laughs> Nerve-wracking, this sort of thing. Okay, what now? So okay. now I'm peeling them merrily. Like yes, a good I'm going to wash my hands after okay. my very messy all business. All mixed beautifully and all mixed through. Then the important part is to dip the finished child egg into yeah. a little bit of flour just to make it stick. Then once they've all been dipped in, in flour, the trick now is to wrap it into in the meat mixture. So. So you'll just take a little bit and you'll flatten it on your palm of your hand. Right. Just enough so that you can basically wrap the whole egg. Then gently you take your egg and you wrap it around and you kind of mold it slightly to close completely. See all this wrapping can sort of cover a multitude of sins because if it cracks slightly or in this case I've also just pulled some of the white off the sort of the... Oopsie. Yeah, sorry about that. So then we'll actually once it. you've got the sausage over it, it covers it and you don't have to exactly. worry, right? First oh. one ready. I'm just going to put yeah. the oil on while That's you're filling it out. Okay. I'll continue wrapping. All right, I'm going to do the, the, the dipping. Egg and then panko. Yes, egg, and uh, flour, sorry. Oh, flour, flour, egg, panko. You see, now this is a labour of love. In the UK, you sort of buy this as takeaway food pretty much everywhere, which I think is very intelligent, because then you don't feed yourself. These are big. They're not like exactly. doing little eggs. This is like a, this is a hefty affair. Yeah, so for my girls, um, I would do these and yep. then roll them in the morning and then keep them in the fridge yeah. and then they come home and I will do a little salad at the bottom and then I'll slice it oh, really? so that they can oh. actually have a... a better mother than I am. 
All right, I'm just going to wash my hands a little bit sort of ugh. Oh, and I think we can start frying. Okay. All right, so what have you got? Just sunflower oil? Or... Yes, sunflower's the, the, the best. It mustn't be too hot, because otherwise the meat doesn't cook before the outside goes okay. to brown. Okay. So it's got a, yeah, it's one of those yeah. things. No, look, I mean, to... this is where I'm definitely left it to you. I'm not going to get involved <laughs> at all. I'm just going to test the oil by putting a few crumbs mm -hmm. in to mm -hmm. see how hot it is. Good um, the other way that you can also put a thermometer in, and the oil's good at about 160 degrees. Right. Okay. Which I think ours is perfect. Fantastic. So I think probably one of the most valid things here is the temperature of the oil, because I think it's quite important that you do actually cook the sausage meat. Raw pork meat is not a great idea. And then you don't want to sort of overcook the, in, the inside of the egg. So that 160 degree thing is probably worth making a note of. Well, I have anyway. Okay, now how long, darling, how long? Um, I would say six to seven minutes. I think they're ready to come out. Oh, they look Ew. heroic. Golden. Golden. I know, it's like the goose that laid the golden the egg, golden darling. The golden egg. Perfect. I'm just going to pop the rest in. Perfect. Waiting with bated breath. All right, just a quick clean up, darling, while you're doing the next bit. Yes. See, don't you like having me in your kitchen? I'm, I'm marvellously helpful. You can move in huh? any time. Yeah. Lovely. Chopping and clearing. Chopping and clearing. Yes, there you yes. go. We're almost and then done I'm just, actually, you know, I've just thought you're going to need this plate because you're going to put the others yes. onto it. These are almost done. And I'm going to get you a plate to sort of put something on. Let's have a little look. These are in a little bit shorter. I'm just worried that... Well, let's be brave. Yes. Well, let's try these ones. I've yes, even got a, try a duck egg blue plate. Well, sort of. Right, go. Very excited. So I love that you slice yours like a... Yes. Oh, oh who's a clever girl. I rest my case. <laughs> I told you she was just the right woman for the job. How gorgeous are these? So worth the trial and effort. Stunning.